Howdy folks, I have some fun prepared for you today. I'm gonna try to catch some crap here on this weird thing here. It says Nuco Worm, but inside of the pack, this looks like an octopus to me. The other thing is, it says that it's 1.5 inch. Now, I give you my word, this is, this, this is a 3 inch, I don't know why I opened from the bottom, but there was cut here, made to open from the bottom. Oh, look at this, very interesting, very interesting packaging. Now, I give you my word, I have never opened a pack of these, I have never fished them. And I'm gonna try to catch some crappie on them. Okay, I don't remember how much these cost, but they are expensive. And I want to set something clear with you. I am not trying to sell you nothing. If you ask me right now, is this a good bait? I will say no. If you ask me, do you recommend buying this? I will tell you no. Do I believe this will be good for crappie? Extremely unlikely. But guys, I have a YouTube channel. I don't want to make a million videos with trout magnet. You know, last week I put some bluegill, you know, videos with a kitek and everybody jumped on me that, you know, the trout, somehow I betrayed the trout magnet or something. Who wants to watch a million videos with just trout magnet? I'm not saying go buy it. I'm saying I want to do this for fun. I'm curious. Is it going to work or not? Let me give you a comparison with the trout magnet. I don't know how long the trout magnet is, but this is significantly bigger. So, whatever, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to tie one here. Put one on the hook. And I'm going to have some fun. And if you're interested, if you're just curious whether this will catch fish or not, you know, just stay and watch. Otherwise, let's find something else, you know. But um, I'm gonna fish a few different brush. Doesn't matter if it works on the first brush. Uh, just to kind of get a better idea of how it works before I tell you. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion. Now, I did find a slightly better, a bigger hook than what I normally use. Because this is a meatier bait, but like I said, I promise you, I have never opened a pack of this. And I don't know how they swim. I don't know anything about them. I don't know how, most importantly, I don't know how they will fit on my hook. But this doesn't look too bad. And I'm good selecting my jig heads, even though I've never used the lure. Look at all this action. Now the problem is, the bluegill, there is zero bluegill on the bed right now. They are done. I tried a few beds, there is just nothing on the beds. So I think they are, the fish is now on the, the bluegills are mixed up with the crappie and I'm gonna get a lot of, I'm gonna get a lot of uh, bluegill bites and for them this is just too much. But whatever, you know, we're not in a tournament, we're not competing for money. So I'm gonna start with the first brush here, which is actually over there behind me. I don't know if the sun will bother you. The only thing is I don't have a lot of good jig heads for this. And if I snag it, if I snag it, I will have to go and try to retrieve it. Because my other jig heads are... They don't have enough gap for such a meaty bait. I saw there was fish around this tree over there. And there was a nibble, finally a nibble. Okay, one fish. Something ate it. Oh my god. The smallest crappie in the... In the lake. Oh! Ow! Ow! My hip punctured me twice. Smallest crappie in the lake. Ate... Oh! Ate a little octopus. 
Hmm. Interesting. What happened with the lure now? It's somehow tangled into a mess. Let's try one more time. Let's try to cast behind the tree and run by the tree. Here we go. Another one. Well, it seems to be the same. I think we should search for something else. But you know what I'm gonna do and you're not gonna notice it. I'm gonna take a five minute break to crazy glue this, this uh, nickel worm. And then I'm gonna continue because they keep pulling it off the hook and eventually they'll tear it up. So I'll drop a little crazy glue. I don't care if it stinks. I don't care either. And we'll continue the video. All right, folks, it's crazy good. Let's try from this angle because there is one, two sticks and I can kind of cast parallel to them. I like to cast behind them and drag it by them. Like I said, you have to wait to sink because it's on the bottom. Yeah, they're all the way on the bottom and they're stuck to the stump. Okay, this one moved away from the stump. Okay. He ate it with the crazy glue, fresh crazy glue. Folks, that's the best. Oh my God, I almost broke my rod. This is very uncomfortable here. Fresh crazy glue is the best fish attractant, folks. That's a better fish. See if we can catch something more decent. Oh, I also put a clip to give it some extra wiggling. Let's cast on this side of the branch. Wait and retrieve. So far, three fish from the first branch. That's not too bad. Give it a few jigs. Is that a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. It's not the smallest fish I've caught on the octopus. Very difficult here to unhook them with my eradicator. I gotta squeeze them real bad because if they move, only white crappie on this brush. Nine, nine and a half maybe. They don't look big, but they're long. So, so far I would say, pff, I don't see any problem. We caught some small crappie. We haven't caught big ones. But you think that the big ones are the ones that won't have problem with a big war. Niblick, that was a little niblick. So you have a lot of appendages, appendages sticking behind the hook. So you're gonna miss fish. Oh my god, right here as I was retrieving, I gave up on it. Something came up on the surface and ate it. This little guy. Very uncomfortable here, folks. Very uncomfortable. He ate it. Crazy glue, folks. Ooh. Now we have a little blood. But that's from the last dinky fish. Don't worry about him. He will not go to waste. There we go. I don't know. I, I don't think I got a I, I don't think I got a bite without a fish. No, without a fish maybe, but not without a... I don't think I got a cast without a bite. They do not have a problem with this bait being too big. 
none of them, not the big ones, not the small ones. Come on, dude. If anything, they have been inhaling this thing too deep. Not a white crop. It is nothing but white crop on this. Let's cast on this side. Our last fish and we go try another brush. Maybe white crop you like octopus. Oh, this one ate it on the drop. Oh, that's a, that was a black crappie, just a small though, but black, interesting. Let's cast a little bit farther, just a little bit farther. Okay. Here we go. This octopus, man, no problem. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, they're... They're just chugging it. They're just chugging it down. They gotta move away to another brush, but how do you leave... ...biting fish, eh? Here we go. I mean, I felt slack, not a bite. I just felt slack. I feel if I stay here 20 minutes, I'm gonna pluck every fish off this stump there. Of course, I'm releasing them, but... If I were keeping them, I think I could catch them all. Okay, one more cast and then we go or until we have a cast without a bite and then we go. Sometimes I get a bite just while I'm waiting for it to sink. This time I didn't. No, I did. Surprised there's not one decent fish there. That's a good crap spot. I don't know if I got a single 10 inch. Ow, ow, ow. This one might be 10. I think this one will be 10. Oh. Alright folks, I'm gonna try this branch, but this branch is extremely dangerous because I see on the bottom there are some, you know, horizontal branches, which are just absolutely deadly. So we're gonna have to fish this a little bit higher, which shouldn't be a problem. First cast and we connect it. First cast and we connect it. Uh, still white crappy. Everything here is white crappy. Stop it, stop it. They are eating this thing good. There is no nipping of the tail. It's a little bit too good. I'm almost at the boat. I told you. I'm almost at the boat and still getting bites. Only white crappy though. It's okay, we we'll catch a few more. We'll try a third brush. But not, not more than three brush because the video will be half an hour again. But uh, we'll try one more brush hoping to find some black crappy. I don't know if that was the branch or... That's a fish. Well, that's a black crappie. Oof. Okay, buddy. 
Oh my god. Oh. Alright folks, this will be the last... Oh, there is a fish. This will be the last brush we fish with this because the video is getting... The video is getting longer and... I don't think there will be any different outcome today. Everywhere I go... I'm gonna slay small crappie. I think the big crappie are done and what's still active and spawning is the white crappie. But there is a brush here in front of me on the bottom and I have to fish kind of on top of it. It is kind of dangerous. But uh, we'll catch a few fish here and end the video. And we can fish the octopus another time. Here we go. I don't know what this brush is. Keep snagging it, but it's not bad. I haven't seen it before. Probably some tree. Maybe a Christmas tree. Looks like a Christmas tree. To me but let's catch say three more fish he, will, he, he just ran with it just foof but they're so small man i know about what to do guys i'm not gonna find bigger i'm not gonna find uh, bigger crappy today i can run around and catch a hundred crappy with this same octopus, unless I snag it, I don't think I can lose it. I don't think I'm going to catch a big crappie today. Big ones are done. But I think that's, see, on the drop. I think that's enough fish to get me completely convinced that this octopus is just... I mean, they have no problem, they have no reservations inhaling this thing. If anything, they, they inhale it too deep. I didn't like the profile with all of the appendages. No care, they do not care. I still don't recommend you go and buy this bait though because it's very expensive. All of the Nico worms are expensive. I don't think you need that to catch crappie. That's not why I did the video to get you to go buy some Japanese war. But I thought it was fun. And I personally learned something today that this this profile is here we go this profile is very potent very potent ah uh, let go i mean the profile in all honesty is just an, another tube but it is kind of different very short body and very long appendages and extremely soft and out of the box has scent but i recommend you enhance the scent with some crazy glue put some crazy glue scent on it and you can catch 100 crappie or more until you until you snag look at this i mean i don't think any crappie will say no to this thing As a matter of fact, when I close the video, I'm going to continue fishing with it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't have to change it all the time. Like that damn Kitex. The damn expensive Kitex that are good for three fish.
Okay, coming, coming close to the brush. See if I can snag on the brush on the last fish and lose it. That's exactly what I did. Oh no. No, I'm not losing this. I'm not losing this, folks. I'm gonna lift my talon and I'm gonna go on the other side and retrieve my Nico octopus. But uh, as far as you're concerned, uh, let's end the video here. Amazing bait, what can I say? I don't think it's worth the money. I know all of these are very expensive, but if you wanna, you know, have fun fishing with some new bait, this, this is a very potent bait and stays on the hook good, went crazy good, and you can fish it all day. And the other thing is, unlike the trout magnet, this one has some meat, so you can still fish for dinks with it, as you saw. I mean, most of the fish I caught with it were dinks. But you have some meat uh, on the hook, and if there is a nicer crappie there or bass or something, I am sure they will, they will just slurp this. Look at this, how many fish I caught with it already. Still looks brand new sits on the hook amazing you are against the sun now but look at this i did put a little swivel over here you will need a little bit fatter hook than the usual jgm stuff but look at this very i mean very potent bait all right folks thanks for watching see you soon bye bye